Welcome back everyone to the channel. Framer has launched a AI based design tool, which is going to design no code websites from scratch. And not only that, it has a lot of cool hidden features and ways you can make the designs look even more impressive. So let's check out all the features they have introduced with this nice little AI update. Towards the end, I will show you how you can write better prompts to make better designs with this AI. Now to begin with, if when you land on their page, you can quickly click on launch. It takes you to Framer and you can take the tour if you want a nice little tutorial inbuilt into Framer. Now here, as you can see a nice touch, they have added start with AI as an option on top, which I think is a really cool thing. It creates a brand new project for us. And of course, just to give you an intro, there is a video attached with this. We're going to skip this. But for now, there is a button right here called Egg Start with AI. And whenever you start a new page, it will give you this nice little example. Start with AI. If I click on this, there's this pop-up that comes up and it is showing us really cool examples of what we can write, how we can write. Now to see what this can do, let's create a portfolio website for people like us. Website for a, for a UX designer. He also sells courses and shows off his YouTube videos telling it what I do also this also indicates what I would want on my website as well now if I click on start it immediately creates two to three screens right here for different screen size now as you can see it is designing in real time so right here it creates a big title for me this is a very trendy title style a big bold text and it really boosts my ego when it writes for me as well and also gives relevant buttons and links to my design courses so it's not only focusing on the design it's also focusing on the content now as a bonus it generates an automatic domain for us it comes up with a nice unique domain that we could export this website as so it gives you a dot ai domain as well I like that fact a lot and you can also get your ai domain from here now at any point of time i can quickly switch between designs styles and palettes so if I click on any one of these sections, for example, the hero section, there'll be this magic icon on the right. If I click on this, it immediately switches the design up a little bit with relevant colors and also shows me different options for different screens as well. I can do the same for the entire page as well. For example, if I click on desktop, I can shuffle between different fonts. So it creates a nice little font pairing. So an AI font pairing tool inbuilt here. I can even shuffle between the color palettes also. And this also impacts things like images as well. So I can quickly shuffle a section and the images will also blend in with that color. I like the fact that it gives this effect as well. It also adds these cool, unique doodles and graphics in between as well, depending on the overall style of the website. Now, if at any point of time, I don't like a piece of text or a title, for example, lighting the path with online courses is not something I want written. I can click on this text and again, click on this magic icon here it will rewrite this text or this title for me. So it's an AI copywriting tool again in built into Framer. I think this is fantastic because it gives you the option to quickly write content and edit the content as well. I can always click on the page and regenerate. So if I don't like this design, I can edit some of my commands and prompts. So another cool thing about this is that you can see the entire style guide right here you can see what different fonts you have, the different text styles that you have and the color palettes that it has generated. And you can individually refresh these and choose the fonts that you like and it will quickly switch it up for you as you can see happening live. It also creates some unique cards and expressions for me. If I want to showcase my courses and my YouTube videos, it can do this as well. And it is also given relevant links here. So it knows that I'm a YouTuber now because I've told it. Now there are some bugs and negativities around this. Number one being whenever you want to create a new page, for the life of me, I could not get it to, to follow the same theme. Whenever you start a new page, it's as if it's generating a new design altogether. And I would have appreciated the same design or theme to follow along on all my web pages as well. I wish in the next update they bring this in. Now let's come to the different kinds of prompts you can create. Luckily, I found this really cool 
Twitter thread by by Namya, and you can see how different creators, designers, and YouTubers have designed their own websites with AI using different prompts. For example, Xander showcases a minimalistic website created, so these keywords are rather simple to follow. Writing keywords like minimalistic and artistic will give you minimalistic and artistic websites. So the first line matters a lot because you're writing essential design-based keywords for an art gallery based out of London. So it should give you a nice little design as well. I personally do not like the display font, so I'm gonna switch it up as, I, as you can from this right panel. It also shows featured exhibitions. And of course it's generating AI based images for your exhibitions as well. Oh, it's, this is very artistic. And wow, this showcases different exhibition timings and dates. It knows that you are an art gallery and it knows what you want from the beginning because of a nice prompt. I hope you like this tool and I hope you like this video as well. Next week, I'm going to post some really cool stuff around AR VR. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel for that. And I will see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.